Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, this is part four of this mixed media layout that I'm doing inspired by, um, oh my gosh, <laughs> Andrea, let's just say Andrea, you'll find the link down at the bottom. Anyway, I uh, colored my Heidi Swap banners with my gelatos, um, my fiber paste cut into banners. All of these are colored with gelatos. You could spray them too. And you can actually make sprays out of the gelatos, which will be another video. But Okay, so lots of texture there. And then this is the corrugated paper that I added the gesso to in the previous part. And so we're just going to do the same to it. We're just going to add great color. Nothing too precise. I'm just going to make these turquoise and then add a little bit of orange to them. Let's see how the color just moves with that gesso on there. That really makes the color move. So I love that. And it's in between the grooves, so that's cool. We've got lots of color in there. And this is actually a metallic. It's great. I love it. It's called Metallic Mint. And then just add a little pop of orange there. Just kind of random. Just so it all coordinates with that background. Okay, so I'm going to take this whole thing. And I've got a baby wipe here, so you can just, you know, I'm going to clean my hands first so that I don't... Um, smudge my paper. I'm just going to move this out of the way and I'm going to be working off of it off to my side. You won't be able to see it, but it's going to be here. And then I've got a clean flat sheet here. So here it is. Here's my paper. And I don't have my title or anything like that cut out from the Cricut. I will do that. I need my photo. So that will determine where the rest of it will go. Sorry, I'm just trying to find my pieces here. I thought I had it. Okay, well, oh, I'm not gonna probably fall back here. It. All right, well, we're going to go. Oh, it's up here. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this down and I'll show you. I have the tonic. Sorry, the camera has to move to move that out of the way. I'm going to use this tonic 8.5 in, or 9 inch guillotine trimmer. I love for cutting my photos down. I'm just going to trim out. the sides a little bit. Just kind of bring everybody nice and tight into the center. So now it's a square, four by four. And I might put it here. Okay, now our tape. Ground my layout, and it's all just kind of rip 
wrinkly and stuff and I like that because that adds added texture to the whole thing. And then I've got a shorter one here. And see I'm just literally just taking it off of here like this. The beauty of the craft sheet. Okay, I'm probably going to maybe take it and cut it like this and just go behind the photo like this. So it looks like it's extending behind the photo, but we know it's not. Okay, and then for the top, with the middle. That's all. Maybe upside down like that. Oh no. <laughs> Let's go here. Cool. I love it. All right. And see how it is in the form of a triangle? So that kind of helps too with triangles. There's something about triangles and, you know, you know, it really, math is really beautiful. Math, if you hate math, just consider this. We have, math is in every subject and everything we do. Math is very important and it's actually a beautiful thing because God, who is a God of order, created it for the purpose of beauty and it creates balance and all of these things that um, math helps us with, just just consider that, it's, it's so cool. So where did that come from? I don't know, okay. <laughs> all right, so now let's use our banners. And I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna play around and place these in random fashion. pieces here and just seeing how they will fit in. I didn't you know, I didn't plan my layout or anything ahead of time so yeah, I'm just literally playing around and seeing what works. I just know that I want layers of texture and color. I'm just kind of trying to break it up a little bit here. And sizes. Maybe this one is a little too long. Maybe too much turquoise, I don't know. I might break these up here. No scissor needed, we'll just rip them apart. Kind of break this thing up here. Something like that, I think. Kind of cool. Love it. All right. So what we need is a journaling spot. We need, um, which is where you write your way, your who, what, where, when, why, how type thing on your layout. And we need another embellishment, um, like a number, a title, maybe. Um, I'm not sure yet. So stay tuned for part five. Thanks for watching.